Beyond Technical, Competitive Gaming. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Beyond Technical. Today we're going to be doing another simple character tutorial. Now before we jump into this one, I just want to preface this with explaining something because I've been having a little bit of trouble doing these simple character tutorials and the issue that I'm running into is that the new characters actually aren't that simple, believe it or not, but they're actually kind of complicated. They have a ton of gimmicks and things like that. So what I'm going to do with this tutorial is I'm going to avoid talking about a lot of the stuff that these characters can do simply because it gets really, really confusing. So if you want to look into more information, you're welcome to do that. The entire point behind this tutorial though is like just for the average Street Fighter player that wants to get into Rolento, wants to pick up some, some idea of what they're doing and just maybe learn the basics, we're going to cover that. So uh, I apologize if you wanted something a little more in depth, but honestly it gets it's really, really hard to take what these characters can do and then to actually simplify it down to just a nice, quick, easy tutorial. So that's what we're doing today. Let's hop on in and check that out. All right, so there's a few things I just want to cover really quickly. Um, his jumping heavy punch has some really weird hit properties. It kind of goes right through people. You kind of need to hit it at the last second. So the tip of that actually doesn't work very well. So keep that in mind because it's something that threw me off because I definitely thought I was hitting people and I was and I ended up getting punished pretty hard for it a few times. So the coolest things about Relento uh, is definitely this ability, I think, is his triple punches makes him do this nice backflip. And then after that, you can hit heavy punch, medium punch, or light punch, and you roll at them. It's insanely hard to punish because of where you land. You can see, like, I actually roll back pretty far. So... It makes you actually ridiculously safe after the hit. It is minus eight, so it is a punishable move, but because of how far it throws you, a lot of characters don't actually have any punishable options. So it's a really cool kind of like pressure spam thing. Um, be careful though, because good players are gonna shuriken you or something out of it, and they will know how to handle it, but it's armor breaking, and it seems to be honestly pretty strong and really tough for like lower tier players to handle. So that's one of his cool moves. The other thing he can do is this pogo stick that basically just kind of makes his landing a little bit tricky. It's really hard to predict what's, what he's going to do because he might just go for a standard jump in or he might end up kind of doing this pogo stick instead and then bouncing back up in the air. And so if they do some sort of punch or like crouching light punch or something like that, a lot of people crouch right after you jump in. So it kind of gives you this, this nice tricky option to pogo stick in and hit them with something. Uh, you can use that pogo stick option to go into his combo. Now his bread and butter combo is actually ridiculously simple because most of his moves are not cancelable. So if you want the max damage, his standing heavy punch is a cancelable special or a cancelable normal. But the main one you're gonna probably use is his crouching medium kick. That's pretty much all he's got for cancels uh, for the, from crouching because his other moves, like his crouching light punch, is cancelable, but as you can see, it doesn't come out fast enough, so it doesn't give you enough uh, hit priority to actually do a nice easy combo. So crouching medium kick is going to be your primary combo. And uh, what you're going to do off of that is his Rekkas. So you can do one, you can do two, or you can do three. Uh, I'm going to suggest always going with three once you've hit confirmed. It's just like Fei Long, you input it three times, and it gets an honestly nice 200 damage easy combo. The standing heavy punch goes, oops, goes into a 225 damage combo. So it's a nice, easy, good punish. Uh, his ultras, honestly, they don't have any nice, uh, easy combos into them that I have found out. So nothing simple. Uh, his He's got basically two Hadoukens forward punches, two Hadoukens forward kicks. The forward kicks is kind of cool because it comes out really fast and puts this little tripwire down and almost instantly grabs them. So it's actually really good for punishing stuff. Uh, it's been my, my go-to so far. So those are the basics here. Now let's talk about some, some really key normals that I think are important. His standing medium punch is a phenomenal anti-air. Rolento's strength is in his normals. That's the way he is a strong character. So this standing medium punch is absolutely amazing. Standing heavy punch has huge range on it. There it is. Look at that, that's massive range. And because of the hit arc, it actually covers a lot of different hit boxes. So it's a phenomenal counter poke. Another move I really liked on his is his crouching heavy kick is a slide. It goes pretty quick, hits low and has a hard knockdown to it. So it's a, a pretty good opener. Um, other than that, he's got this forward medium punch which actually can hit them. Uh, and it goes over lows and stops you from being thrown and things like that. So it's a little bit like playing rows, uh, sorry, for medium kick, medium kick. So it's a little bit like playing rows when you're in close. 
Um, and that's about it for things that I really think are notable. Uh, his lights are kind of crappy in all honesty. Um, his crouching medium kick is nice. Crouching heavy punch has, again, his punches have really good range on them because they use this stick. Uh, and it's going to break things like people spamming focus attack and stuff like that. So this medium, standing medium punch is really cool for anti-air. It's really hard to get around it. And uh, yeah, so basically that's, that's the gist of the character. Let's get into very simply how to play him. I use a lot of slides. It's something I'm pretty decent with. I don't really do it to, at an unsafe point too often, and I tend to land them. Be careful against really good players. Their reaction times are going to be phenomenal, so you need to use this sparingly. But it's not a bad move, especially if you're just kind of playing around with your friends. If you want to be cheap as all hell against lower tier players, you can spam this and win rounds. I'm not kidding. It is amazing. So keep that in mind. It's pretty overpowered against kind of low tier players. Higher tier players are going to know how to punish it, and it is minus 8 on block, so there's definitely an easy way to punish it. But uh, as you'll see in the match I've got to show you guys, it works pretty well against some lower tier players. It's pretty nice. Other than that, you're actually just, as a basic character tutorial, you're going to play Rolento almost completely based off of his normals. His Rekka is going to be something that you only use as a hit confirm, and other than that, you're going to just use these normals to kind of zone them, control them, and punish them. It's just, his normals are amazing. Keep in mind that his walk speed and dashes is terrible, so that's why Rolento does a lot of these bouncy moves, and why he has a lot of these wall jumps and stuff like that. But we're kind of ignoring those for now because they're a little unsafe, a little hard to use. Uh, as you can see, the, the timing on actually inputting the attacks is really, really awkward with these, so that's why we're gonna be trying to actually avoid doing those for now. So we got his spin, we've got his Rekkas, all right? And we've got his normals, all right? That's basically the character. That's what we're gonna work with for now. His focus attack is okay. Uh, the range is, again, deceptive. The rod looks like it goes further than it actually goes. All right, so that being said, let's check out a match. And I will show you guys a little bit of this in practice. Uh, again, I try to keep everything as simple as possible, uh, just so that we can have a nice, easy tutorial and um, Again, show players who are looking for something very simple to get into uh, a nice, easy way to play. So let's check out this one. I believe this is a decent match. So as you can tell, uh, going into this, I will just say I am not a very high tier Relento. Uh, I learned him specifically to make an easy tutorial. So uh, I make a ton of mistakes uh, that I would not usually be making, but uh, I found a nice lower tier player, so he kind of let me get away with a lot of stuff, and it made uh, made a few things work a little better than I, I probably should have been rewarded for. So you can see I'm trying to use these normals to kind of zone the Hugo and keep him back. Uh, there's that medium kick combo I talked about, cancelled into the Rekkas. And um, yeah, so the Hugo's just, Hugo's strength is in his normals. You see I'm just spamming that medium punch because he can't really jump in on it. It's got an amazing hitbox. So there's that rollback I talked about as an anti-air. Um, it's really, really strong. And then that normal I was talking about, is, or that, sorry, that ultra I was talking about as well, it comes out in, almost instantaneously. Uh, it shoots out really, really fast and gives you uh, a really nice punish. So he burned a really wacky ultra too. Gave me a nice opening uh, to get the win on that one. There, so I'm talking about that slide. Uh, his jumping medium kick, by the way, is his cross up if you're going to be going for those. Now, that move actually has a lot of invincibility frames on it. Uh, it's his EX Rekka. Uh, it only basically does like the one, and it shoots them away from you. So if someone's giving you a lot of pressure, and you have that, you need that get off of me button, that's your, your opportunity. So there he gave me a, a free punish, so I did a standing heavy punch into the Rekkas. As I said, that's the highest damage um, punish that you can get. And uh, that gave me a nice opportunity to kind of utilize this stuff. So there you go, it was a pretty quick match, uh, but I think I got off almost everything I talked about in the tutorial and uh, got a chance to show it off in an actual online match uh, against uh, another player. So there you have it. That's my very simple Rolento tutorial for you guys to get you started off. So remember, use that rollback a lot uh, and then just really poke with his normals. They're really, really strong. Uh, once you get a little further along, um, I went and did a little research for anybody who really wants to know um, a bit beyond the very, very simple stuff. Um, his combos are usually only about three hits. So 
three or like one two normals into his specials so keep that in mind uh, he really doesn't have a lot of overly complicated uh, combos um, his highest damaging opportunity he's got is uh, his uh, standing heavy kick crouching medium kick ex patriot circle into his ultra one deals 469 damage so that's your your greatest biggest combo possible and Relento does have red focus combos, but again, we're doing a new character tutorial. I'm not sure how uh, proficient you guys are going to be with red focus, so we're just going to ignore that for now. So I hope that helps a couple of you guys get into some ranked games and have some fun with Relento. Uh, if you've got any comments, anything that I missed, or any really cool tips for everybody, please drop them in the uh, comment section below. And make sure to follow Beyond Technical and all that fun stuff for more simple character tutorials. Tell your friends if you're a little more advanced player and these aren't helping you too much. I know a lot of my lower tier friends have been begging me to do their character with these tutorials. So uh, I get a lot of great feedback. Thanks again, guys. I really appreciate it. And uh, I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.